well. Yeah. Oh yeah. The phone, phone is good. Phone is better. Phone is better than GoPro. Oh yeah. All right. Good. Phone is better. Oh yeah. Than Okay, like honestly, I don't know how many times I've recorded at this point, but it's gonna be my last time recording, so let me get this right. So, what's up, guys? My name is Splash, and three things before I start this video just three things. The first thing is this is gonna be like a commentary video. Um, basically, I'm gonna talk over the clips as I build my PC, so I'm gonna just give you guys tips and tricks of what I'm doing. Also, I'll tell you guys like what I did wrong in that clip. And yeah, I'm just gonna talk to you guys um, throughout the video of me building a PC. And um, the second thing, the second thing is I will do a benchmark test. What I mean by that is I will show you guys how good the PC can run on certain games and on uh, certain high-end games, low-end games, and uh, yeah, what I like about the PC. I should have said this the first um, time, but it doesn't matter. So what I wanna do with my PC, of course, I wanna play games like Tomb Raider, the Batman Arkham series and stuff, and uh, Cyberpunk, of course. I really like that game for some reason. And the second thing, of course, I want to make videos. I have a huge passion for like editing and stuff. And I love making YouTube videos. And my last PC really couldn't do it. It couldn't render. It was rendering really slow and all that. I couldn't make my videos in 2K and stuff. This PC I have now, it can make videos in 4K if I wanted to. So it's really good. I highly suggest this PC for me to do that. And uh, yeah, I want to make animation videos and stuff. So I feel like this PC also can do that too. Uh, I'm, probably, I'm probably gonna do that like later on in the road, but who cares? But if you want to do those type of things, on this PC, if you're interested in those type of things, I highly suggest this PC. So yeah, that's about it. And one more thing, shout out to my friend Larry and the Lucky Gun. They was a huge help for this video. And um, yeah, guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm out. Peace. Okay guys, so basically this is my first time recording audio on a PC. So if the audio sound wrong or bad, please excuse me, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, this is me installing the CPU. And as you can see, I took off the filter on a motherboard. It's just a dust filter, protects the dust. But guys, please don't do that if, you're, if it's your first time. Cause I kind of freaked out, I'm like, oh shoot. And I'm like, whatever, the show must go on. But please don't do that like me, what I just did. And I was struggling to take that off, but my friend Larry, he came in clutch and helped me. All you have to do is just slide it to the left. I was nervous and stuff, but um, yeah, everything's gonna be okay. So shout out to my friend Larry. He helped me install the AOI cooler and he helped me install my power supply. So basically guys, please um listen to this part if you're new to building PCs and all that. And you know, I'm, a, I'm a beginner myself, but I'm gonna help you guys and all that. And if you guys wanna help me out, please comment below. So the CPU is gonna have like four um uh, corners on it and you're gonna see like a little mark and the mark you want to match that with the motherboard the motherboard gonna have like a little mark on each four sides and when you look for it um is just put it on the motherboard and i was so nervous to install the cpu so i asked my friend larry could he help me because my hands were shaking so much um and uh, yeah basically i told him make, uh, make sure um you have like lined perfectly and uh yeah he put it on there it's gonna be four marks on your CPU and just match it with the motherboard. That's about it. It's, it's not hard at all. And um, yeah, it's just tapped a little bit. I make sure I tapped it, you know, that's so it can like fall into place. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. And one more thing, um, specs are in the description for my PC. And I hope you guys enjoy the video right now. And if you guys have any questions, please comment below. And uh, yeah. so guys okay so now we're into the next step and one more thing if i do sound like i have a cold or something i just have a sore throat i'm recording these by different days but uh yeah i just want to throw that out there i'm okay so as you can see guys um i was installing the ram stick 16 gigabytes i got it from my old pc it's a corsair visions as you can see when i put it on the screen um 16 gigabytes i think i already said that, i'm not sure and 3200 megahertz when i was installing it it was kind of hard to push down but when you're installing it all you have to do is just push down don't be scared of anything because the motherboard is pretty strong but make sure you be gentle at the same time but as soon as you hear that snap like that click as you can see when it went up you installed it and most definitely the easiest part uh, i did switch the two ram sticks to the opposite direction so uh yeah and the other part we're going to be installing is the ssd wd blue terabyte and uh yeah i just had to, i just want to decide to go with that i should have got two terabytes because i use up a lot of storage but i just went ahead and just got a usb because yeah i'm just storing videos and stuff but um yeah 
Okay guys, so we're on the part where I'm installing the SSD. If the audio sound different, loud, or something like that, I'm really sorry. I was recording these on different days. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, I was unboxing the WD Blue SSD. That's the part I was going with. I got one terabyte. I really regret getting one terabyte. If you're someone like me, if you like use a lot of storage, a lot of games and stuff, I highly suggest to get a two terabyte ssd because i'm gonna have to get another one in the future because i have to delete games i have to delete like certain videos and stuff because it's just like a hassle so as you can see i was taking off the stickers and stuff off the heat sinks on and off the motherboard because i just want to make sure everything was right i didn't want to mess up in anything so as you can see i was taking it off i was taking the stickers off and stuff off the heat sink and one more thing guys i want to tell you so the thing about this motherboard i got did like this one I, I forgot the name of it but it was a rock strix motherboard but one thing about this motherboard is when you install the ssd so as you can see i was unscrewing it you can see i like i was unscrewing the screws and stuff on the heat sink i was about to put it in the stuff and yeah I, i'm just gonna show you guys so basically there's two like little white screws when you install the ssd you, you probably know what i'm talking about i don't know the name for it but all you have to do is just easily unscrew the ssd off the heat sinks and you see those two little white things right there like the white screws all i have to do is just get the ssd place that on there and flip it to the left side and it's easily installed that's it it's so like you see those two little white screws like right there look those two little white screws all you have to do is just put the ssd right there and all you have to do is just easily install it and me and my friend we really didn't know at first we were like what is this how we install it and all you have to do is just place the ssd on the left side and that's it and like it's easily installed we didn't know what to do so that's why we didn't record this part but uh yeah this part was it was it was easy this part was pretty easy your motherboard might won't have it but uh yeah okay guys so this part is me installing the motherboard and <laughs> me thinking about it like this was like th like this one things got kind of like bumpy you know like <laughs> like it, it was really hard from here on out but it was pretty it was pretty fun i'm not gonna lie i'm just reminiscing thinking about it um okay so as you can see right here i was explaining in a clip that i had some screwdrivers in a pc case i was installing the motherboard and i had two type of screws i had the big screws and i had the small screwdrivers and the big screwdrivers i installed it throughout the whole motherboard and I didn't have enough screws, you know, to install it. And I was panicking. I'm like, oh, shoot. They, like, they didn't give us all the screwdrivers. But I hit up my friend Lucky Gun, and he have a lot of knowledge about PCs. And he built a lot of PCs. Um, and, yeah, I learned from him. He was one who suggested me um, for some of these parts and all that. He was one that helped me out throughout this whole thing. So shout out to him. And he told me, he was like, do you have any small screwdrivers? I'm like, yeah. He said, he said you have to use those screwdrivers instead to install the motherboard and he said it's going to take a while it's going to be kind of difficult to get those small screwdrivers inside the motherboard he said but just use the small screwdrivers i'm sorry guys he said but use the small screwdrivers instead to install the motherboard and it'll be easier for you and that's how you do it so that's what i did i was installing small screwdrivers um throughout the whole motherboard and when you do this part don't feel discouraged don't like you know be annoyed because it's going to be hard um, but yeah, that's that's how you have to do um, is just get the small screwdrivers and install it in a motherboard That's what I did and this part was really relaxing. I really liked it. I'm not gonna lie Even though my hands were shaking and stuff. It was pretty fun. I'm not I, I liked it I like um, installing the motherboard with my little screwdriver and uh, Yeah, so I see you guys in the next clip. Don't leave just yet and uh, Yeah, I hope you enjoy the video right now <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm trying to be so professional but okay so the power supply was so frustrating like i couldn't do it because the case i have right here do not get this case it's a music text case it was so hard to manage in it was like it was a lot of boring cable management on the power supply installation so that's why i didn't include that many clips and yeah guys so that's why i don't have much that many clips for the power supply because the whole thing like managing the clips in the small case was kind of frustrating so yeah man let's get into the ay cooler and my friend unboxing it as you can see right now Okay guys, so the next step, installing the all-in-one cooler, the NZXT Kraken Z63 is the all-in-one cooler I went with. And, you know, the main thing about this all-in-one cooler is you can play a GIF on to the pumper. You can play a display, like a small little video that loops if you don't know what a GIF is. But I'm pretty sure everybody does, but that's not the point. So this is basically my friend 
unboxing the all-in-one cooler but the main thing is about this all-in-one cooler is mainly the performance the performance is pretty good but i don't want you guys to spend you know i wouldn't suggest this all-in-one cooler if you're going for a budget build is all i'm saying you can always get a lot of better all-in-one coolers out there for probably the same price or even cheaper but i paid 50 dollars extra for this you know just for the display on the pumper but you know if you don't want to go with that you want something cheaper they're all they're, i mean there are better um options out there so uh yeah but this is him unboxing the all-in-one cooler and i just want to say something guys i don't have that much footage of me installing the all-in-one cooler unfortunately I i'll explain it later on but uh yeah this is my friend basically um uh, we're flipping the motherboard actually we're flipping it so we can put the bracket on there well not the bracket but it's some part I'm, i don't know exactly what the name is but it's the part on there so you know you can get the bracket onto it but I couldn't show, I mean, I couldn't record that much footage because when we were trying to install the header on top of the PC, the PC, it didn't work because we couldn't have that much space around it and it was too small. So as you can see right here, this is me unboxing the PC and stuff. And this is how the PC looks. And as you can see on top, we took the two fans off and I still, we still couldn't put on there because it was too small and we couldn't um plug in the cpu cable if we did put it on the top so it just wouldn't work and i did everything but unfortunately we couldn't do it so we had to put the uh all-in-one cooler but we had to put the radio on, on the right side unfortunately we couldn't put it on the top because it was just too small it didn't work out and i was really disappointed so that's why i didn't record me actually putting the pumper onto the cpu but we did manage to do it at the end it was easy but we just couldn't put it once again we couldn't put the radiator on the top of the pc you know you could get better uh airflow like you know you could get better flow doing it on the top but the right side is also better so i do plan to get a better case in the future also but uh yeah i was really disappointed and uh yeah so guys i just want to say you know stuff going to be difficult building your first pc and that's why it's really important to do your research and stuff to make sure you have everything right because it can be like this and i don't want that to be like that for your first try <laughs> that's not, like all i'm saying is make sure you get your correct parts and stuff and if you have experience building pcs and you're watching this video and you can give me some tips below what i could have done what i could have done better please do so uh yeah guys i hope you're enjoying this video and i just want to give y'all guys some tips and tricks of what i did and what i did wrong so y'all won't do it and uh yeah so the next part is me doing some cable management so please stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys when i see you guys peace so the next part is cable management and it's kind of difficult in this case i sworn i thought this case would have been bigger i should have got an 011 but you know i'm gonna just have to make things you know work and one thing i'm still disappointed about i had like a bunch of fans like if i could have mounted this up here like me and my friend like we did everything we could but we just couldn't mount it up here just like if i would have mounted up here i would have had three rgb fans right here it would have looked so nice for the front so for the front i'm not gonna have no lights which i'm really disappointed about but you know in the future if i do buy me a case i will just like um unhook everything and put it in that case if i can but i do have a fan right there it won't mess up performance but having more fans would would have been would have been pretty cool but i will have two fans up here so that's cool you know but um yeah so i'll see you guys whenever i'm done with the cable management and yeah Okay guys, so right now I'm doing cable management. Um, like as you can see, <laughs> it's so much stuff. Like yo, like it's a lot of stuff. So I, like it's a lot of stuff I have to manage back here. But right now, let me get a light because it's kind of dark. So one second. Basically, this is what I have right now. Like I connected some of the ports for the case. So when you're like doing cable management, what I advise y'all to do, my opinion, uh, if I am wrong or if you like, if y'all suggest something else, go ahead and please comment in the comment section so like y'all can help each other out. If y'all been y'all, if y'all 
or building your own PC or getting it ready to in the future, what I suggest do is to do the case. So basically, I, I think y'all should do the case ports first um, and organize. Then once you do that, then you can go to like your CPU cooler. If you do get an IO cooler or um, anything else. So, so that's what I suggest on that part. And I'll see you guys on the GPU unboxing. Okay, guys. So I'm about to basically unbox the graphics card. And this is about the last part I need now for the PC. So, yeah, I basically took a break earlier. I took a nap and stuff. I was hella tired doing all this cable measurement and stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. If I didn't, I don't have anyone recording me. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just show y'all like this. So just give me a second. Um, one second. Okay. And this is how it looks like. Holy crap! Like it looks really good. It's a 3060 gigabyte, 12 gigabyte. So, let me unbox it, and here we go. That's how it looks under here. It only takes one plug from the looks of it. It only takes one, so it looks like I can take the other um, power supply plug out. So, yeah, let me go ahead and unwrap this, and yeah, I'm going to show you guys when I install it. Okay guys, so on to the next part. Even though it's a short part, this is me unwrapping the GeForce RTX and I went with a 3060 12 gigabyte and the brand is actually gigabyte and this is me spinning the fan. I had to do that and it looks really nice and I highly suggest this graphics card if you're upgrading from old. So uh, yeah, and as you can see right there, like I, I was trying to install it, but it was so difficult too because like the little black um, radiator was in the way and this is also my mom recording and uh, yeah, and I still had that like um, the protection in the way. So I don't know what I was doing but um yeah even though this is a short clip because i had to tell my mom to start recording so she could help me lift it up so i can actually put it inside the pc case i still managed to install it but after this part i'm gonna show you guys me starting up the pc for the first time and how my pc looks and after that we can play some video games and that's about it and uh yeah and i'm gonna see y'all on the next part and make sure y'all like the video um i'm gonna like fix this real quick i'm gonna fix all this stuff so don't worry for like the final product but like this is the pc right here so as you can see i don't have three rgb fans unfortunately and this is the cable management. I did the best I could, but it still can close. Um, I haven't had, like, I haven't put, like, the panel and everything on here because let's see, can it start up first? So, yeah, I'm about to turn it on real quick. And, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and press the button. Oops, that's the wrong button. Okay, did we get anything? Nope, we didn't. So, let me see. Let me go ahead and switch the power supply. Now we're talking. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Okay, look at this. But that's my mom, she's really excited, but. Oh, oh this shit. <laughs> right, it's beautiful. Yeah, it looks really nice. Unfortunately, I couldn't have the three fans up here, but hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna have a bigger case, I'm gonna transfer everything. But for now, I just want to set up everything, you know? Um, Let me take this off real quick. Okay, it's upside down, so I'm gonna have to change that. And I'm not getting no display, so one second, guys. Uh, let me just get some display real quick, and I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, so this is my setup right now. This is my monitor. Everything will be in the description from my items and stuff, from my keyboard to the specs. And this is my controller, my keyboard, it's a heavy keyboard. And this is um, the mouse pad my friend gifted me. I'm gonna get a new one in the future. And this is my microphone I got. And he also let me um, have the speakers, a Bluetooth speaker for the monitor, and it, it's really good, I like it. But again, if you wonder where the PC is, this is where the PC is. So this is the PC. If you're wondering why it's on the floor, and it is on a wooden tile. It's not completely on carpet. It's not on carpet at all. Um, what happened was, I'm explaining in a minute, but look at, um, this is how it looks like, you know? Um, this is my anime figure, a Dragon Ball Z Goku. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Uh, yeah, you know, and I really like uh, how this GIF looks on the NCXT. And you see, I have the three fans right here, and I have the AI cooler right there. So I'll explain why it's on the floor. Basically, um, my friend accidentally hit my desk. He hit like he hit the tip of my desk, and um, yeah, he hit it on accident. Actually, he hit it on accident, hit hit his knee, and yeah, the whole PC actually fell. And uh, yeah, that's about it. The whole PC fell, and he had to give me a new monitor. He got me a new monitor and stuff, and I'm gonna get a new desk in the future. So uh, yeah, I just want to show you how the PC look, but I will show you guys some couple video games. I'll show you guys some benchmarks, and that'll be the end of the video. Okay, so here we go. So now we have the first game, Spider Man. So I was playing Spider Man, and it's really fun. It's like this whole game was an experience and if you don't know now you can play playstation exclusives on pc which is so amazing like i literally built the pc at the right time as soon as they announced that so i was getting about like 
85 fps 90 fps on ultra settings like only like on like the most same setting with ray tracing um and the thing about ray tracing i feel like it's really not worth it and on the second clip right here i forgot what settings i had it on because i was just tweaking the settings just with just wondering like which one i enjoy more and i had this on high settings i believe it was i, I believe it was on high settings but i was getting about um i was using about 99 um percent gpu as you can see and i was getting about like 70 temperature but I, what i love about this game is the cinematics and stuff and the graphics look so amazing when i play on ultra settings and uh yeah so i was getting about 120 um 100 like 15 fps on like medium settings and stuff and on ultra and high settings i was getting about like 80 as you can see like 75 and if you was wondering what was the temperature on my pc it was about like 70 percent when i played this game and was my pc sound like a jet engine it actually wasn't and i didn't overclock anything and it was totally normal and yeah you can see me going off with spider-man this game is seriously fun i like it so much and the 3060 12 gigabyte ti is so worth it Okay guys, so now we have Cyberpunk 2077. One of the most games I really enjoyed was Cyberpunk 2077, I'd say, because like the graphics are so amazing. Now the gameplay was really good too, but it's just really beautiful playing this game and I really enjoyed the story. And uh yeah, so I was getting about 70 FPS playing on high settings, and one thing I was getting about like 97% utilization on my GPU, and um the temperature was about like 63%. It wasn't bad at all, and if you was wondering, was it sound like a jet engine? It actually wasn't but at first it kind of was a uh, graphics card was kind of um hot at first i was getting kind of worried but i realized it's coming it's kind of normal when you play on these games and i wasn't getting no bottleneck with my cpu and at nighttime it is really amazing like it is so nice and about me i really don't care about frames per second you know uh i really don't care about performance when i'm playing like single games i feel like because i just really like you know I i'm just there for the story i really like high resolution i love the resolution i'm that type of person you know to each their own some people like having you know good performance frames per second but i like having high resolution and stuff unless i don't get like no low latency or anything about like that uh i really enjoy it and playing this game was so much fun but playing cyberpunk was really fun in all aspects to the graphics storytelling and everything and i highly suggest a graphics card i'm not going to say it again seriously it's really good and i feel like this game is really slept on so i'm going to the next game and after that we're gonna play one more game and that's the video okay guys so here we go we have uncharted 4 a thief's end and this is a part of uncharted legacy of thieves collection and i was getting about like 91 fps on here i was averaging about like 88 fps i capped it like 91 though because i was playing on ultra settings the highest settings and i was getting 99 gpu utilization and uh yeah like this would put like i ain't gonna lie this would put my graphics card to work for some reason and the game was really fun too it, it's so much fun the game was a whole experience like seriously like look at this bro like the game was so much fun and my temperature was like at 60 percent like my graphics card wasn't hot or anything when i play high-end games and stuff for you know quality and resolution i don't have to worry about anything um, i don't worry about like oh my gosh is my graphics card gonna blow up or anything i don't but like i seriously feel like you guys should get this graphics card because i came from a 1030 graphics card i believe and like upgrading to a 3060 it is a big change and plus with the monitor i have 165 hertz it is really good like playing on like a high resolution i was playing on and you know uncharted is like one of the like games i seriously been enjoying on pc since on um, playstation i switched to some of their exclusives to the game and i seriously feel like this game is worth it and it is seriously fun like i feel like pc is really the way to go right now in my opinion with all the controversy with xbox games and ps4 exclusives with both of them coming to pc is so much fun so uh yeah this is uncharted 4 and yeah i'll see you guys on the next and last game okay guys so for the last game i have final fantasy 7 remake and this game was seriously fun i enjoyed it a lot and i was getting about 119 fps i capped about 119 but i was averaging like 100 105 and i was using about 99 percent utilization of my gpu and i was getting like 70 percent temperature it was i had ultra settings so you know of course it's gonna be like that but the game was seriously fun i enjoyed it a lot and the graphics are really beautiful so that's about it i'm gonna give you guys a conclusion of what i think about this pc and do i suggest it or not do i suggest this pc 100 like if you guys want to upgrade from a pc or you're looking for a good pc i think this is the way to go if you want to build your first pc and yeah that's about it 
and you don't have to get the gif like the one i got you can also go the cheaper route and it'll still be good just like mine and for the games and everything you're getting and like the type of resolution you can pay uh play for like i highly think you should get it for real and that's about it and my next video probably gonna be about gaming setups and i'm sorry if the video is kind of short in some aspects i don't want the video to be too long and uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you skipped throughout the video i totally understand and it's okay if you still clicked on the video and just wanted to look at some certain parts i still appreciate it and that's about it hope you guys 